What is going on YouTube? This is Vice speaking and welcome back to part 32 of the Dragon Quest 3 playthrough. Guys, in the last episode, we acquired all seven of the important key items. We have, let's see here, we have the Aurora Armor, the Hero Shield, as well as the Sword of Kings. We have the Sphere of Light, the, um, and the Rainbow Drop which had the other three items in it. We used the rainbow drop in the last episode to construct this bridge the same way that we did in Dragon Quest 1 and 2. And in this episode, guys, we investigate Zoma's castle. All right, let's get a move on. I'm cutting up, uh, cutting out battles up until I get to the castle because I know in my luck there's going to be a ton of them. So let's get a move on. my gosh man these enemies are insane we got a great troll a green dragon from straight out of dragon quest one and a hydra um i'm gonna try to flee in fact i might flee more than usual because i want to conserve as much np as possible i'm already in a bad place because the battles i've been getting have been ridiculous but man let's hope i get out of here Okay, we're finally done with that, man. I mean, the battles have been brutal. I've taken like five steps and I'm getting messed up. I'm going through MP like crazy. It's just not good. Let's hope our luck turns around, though. Alright, we are finally here. <clears throat> I don't know what the heck is up with my voice. It sounds like it's it's slowly losing itself. I don't know why that is, but uh, we'll just deal with it. Um, so hopefully I can show you guys the quickest way through this place. Um, I think I have a pretty good idea of it. Um, let's just cross our fingers, man. First things first, we're going north around the west side of this first room. It looks very fancy, my dyad. Out of nowhere, the party hear a voice. We are the vanguard of the Lord of the Underworld's army. You shall go no further. Oh my, I cannot tell you how much that scream just scared me, man. Goodness gracious, why do they have to do that, man? Just chill out. Um, what do I want to do? I'm going to defend with Margaret. I'm, 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 I'm really sticking to not using... Well, using as little MP as possible, so I'm going to be using the Sage's Staff to heal when I can. Um, and that goes for any time. Like, Marcella's not at low health, but just to keep her as high as possible, I'm going to heal her this turn. Nice, Critical. That's beautiful. And he didn't even die from that. Well, <laughs> that'll do it. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, we're going to defend. Betty's going to use the Staff on herself. And we should be good after this. Um, let's see. And I believe we have two of the same battle after this, so I'll probably just cut them out. Oh, apparently not. Oh, do I have to? Well, I might have to beat all of them. That should finally be the end of that, man. This is this is quite a uh, a difficulty jump. I mean, this place is brutal so far. Gonna save passage. Check behind the throne. Oh. 
Whoa, look at that. A hidden staircase. Let's go on down, man. Now this room is going to be very interesting because we're going to, we're trying to get to the top of the room. I might take a while here. If I do, I'm very sorry, but I can already tell it's going to be so confusing. Alright, that should be good. Wow, I was not expecting level ups, but Betty has reached level 42. I will take it. She gets an MP increase, which probably won't matter unless my um, prayer ring lasts to give her maximum MP. But I don't know if we'll get there. Huge agility and good luck and wisdom as well. And no new spells. All right. Um, we will be avoiding that treasure chest. It contains something that I straight up just don't need. I believe it is a cursed weapon or a cursed piece of armor. But I'm skipping it for a reason. So you can get it if you want to. It's not that hard to figure out which way to get it. But I'm going to continue on for now. All right. Oh my goodness. Just beyond the bridge, the party see a solitary figure locked in deadly combat with a many-headed monstrosity. Ortega and the King Hydra glare at each other fiercely. You can't be serious right now. Ortega. He's been alive this whole time. And this is, a, this is a straight up like orchestrated battle. This is so cool. He even knows Zap. He's a hero, man. Ortega is a dang hero. He's dodging everything. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. They're gonna watch, they're gonna make us watch this, man. They're gonna make us watch this. This is ridiculous. Is somebody there? I, I can't see. I can't hear. Please, if there is somebody there, there's something I need to tell you. My name is Ortega. I come from a place called Aliahan. I. I remember it all now. If, if you ever make it to Aliahan, I need you to find someone called Vice and tell him, tell him I'm sorry. I wanted to make the world a better place, a place where he wouldn't have to be afraid. But I, I just wasn't strong enough. This is absolutely heartbreaking, man. This game is... I just... I, I, If I don't keep going right now, I'm just going to dwell on this forever. I cannot believe the twist that this game just threw at us. So, oh man, I'm still, I still cannot wrap my head around what just happened. 
Um, but right here, we've got a quick treasure stop, I guess you can call it. Now, Peep is 3 MP. There are two mimics here, if what I'm referencing is correct. I don't know if I... I mean, mimics aren't that tough. Maybe I should just go for it. Honestly, I think I'm gonna just go for it. A diamond. An Yggdrasil leaf. That's one of the most useful things we have here. A Sage of Stone. Now, I believe this is the item that that guy in uh, Rimmeldar was talking about. It can apparently heal the entire party and not break instantly. We might have to look into that because that sounds really useful. Okay. Now, I was I was trying to think. I was like, if they were going to put two mimics here, where would they put them? I decided to go with the outsides and I got so lucky. And we got a prayer ring. That is actually huge. And just to be 100% certain, we're going to peep. And if this is a red light, oh, a blue light. Well, that is interesting. What about you? A blue light. Man, I was wrong, man. <laughs> My deepest apologies, but I will take that. I'm glad I'm wrong this time around. Let's see. Yeah, you can already tell this is a huge piece of armor. Oh my goodness. And I think, honestly, as much as I... I mean, Marcella definitely needs it the most, right? 100% she needs it the most. Because her defense is just the lowest. Betty would um, benefit the most. I mean, 40 more defense? That would be huge, man. 91, 01, 11. So it's 35 for Marcella. I think it's got to be Marcella, man. I think it has to be. Yep, equip that. Um, I'm gonna sort Vice's inventory real quick and cut away. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm done changing things around, and I um I noticed that this Sage's Stone has unlimited uses. So if this thing does what the guy said it does, and it's true that it has unlimited uses, this might be one of the most broken Dragon Quest items ever. I can't imagine getting an Omni Heal in an item that you can use over and over. Maybe a Multi Heal. Um, we'll just have to use it, man. Probably in the, uh, upcoming battles, I'm guessing. Actually, can I, let me see if I can use it right now. Nothing happens, okay. And it's not like a certain person has to use it, right? Let me just double check. Okay. So I'm gonna let Margaret carry it for now. Um, and we look good. So at this point, I'm gonna keep going. Okay, well I decided I would test it in battle because I was thinking maybe it's one of those things where if you, you you sort of have to use it in a battle, you can't use it outside. And it straight up just healed everybody's wounds. I couldn't, I didn't check if it was um, fully healed or not, but it was at least a multi-heal. So that is huge, okay? Um, we're going to be using, use, <laughs> if I could speak English, we're going to be using lighting that. <laughs> we're going to be utilizing that. I'm just going to put it there before I make any more grammatical mistakes. Alright, um, real quick, I tested out the uh, Sage of Stone one more time, and I believe it is a multi-heal, not an omni-heal. Um, that's good, I like that, because an omni-heal would be pretty dang broken, so... Man, let's move on. This is just creepy, oh my goodness. Well, there we go. Oh, that scared me. Oh my gosh, it's Zoma. He is huge. So, Vice. Here you are at long last, here at the place of sacrifice, the altar to my greatness. I am Zoma, bringer of oblivion. 
All life shall be sacrificed to my glory. All shall despair, all shall kneel. Come, vice, offer yourself unto me. Arise, my minions, obliterate them. Let me feast upon their suffering. Man, they just throw us straight into this thing. Okay. Oh my gosh. I didn't save. I didn't re re do our MP. This is not good. I was not prepared for this. Oh no. All right, man. I mean, if since we're here, let's just let's try our best. We're going to start attack attack. I'm going to Insulate because I'm just gonna assume that this thing can cast spells and Betty is going to kabuff Nice critical Ooh, and that's not that bad. I like that attack. <laughs> he can keep doing that. That's a little damage. We're gonna attack and attack this time around we're gonna get our last two kabuffs in. Um, yep. Vice is doing good damage. That's our third and final kabuff. Yeah, and his attacks aren't gonna do anything now. This is the thing that literally killed our father, man, and we watched it happen. We have to take this thing down. We're gonna use the Sage of Stone. I'm feeling good now, man. We're gonna... Ooh, no, I'm gonna save MP. In fact, Betty, you just defend. You can just sit back and chill out. Let Vice and Marcella handle this. Because I, if, if, I, if what happens is what I think is gonna happen, and these battles are just right after each other, like next after next, um, then we cannot be using MP, at least on this first boss, King Hydra. Alright, so... Um, ma, 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 Margaret, you attack. Betty, you can just defend. Oh, wait, I forgot about oomphs. This battle could be going by much faster. Well, that's what we're doing next turn. I just decided. Attack, attack. Margaret is going to oomph Vice, and Betty is going to oomph Marcella. Awesome. Nice. And look at that, man. Fire, that doesn't even hurt all the bad, man. You can keep spitting that fire. That's weak. And Marcel is hitting like a truck now. Um, Sage of Stone. Betty can defend. Get our multi heal. And just like that, man, that was not that bad at all. That paper just fell. Okay. Oh, beautiful. Okay. So, I'm gonna quick save here. Guys, we are so close to the end. In fact, I think I, I sort of decided by starting that last battle that this might just be the finale. I might just do all of this in one episode. Um, if I do, I'm sorry because I already know it's going to be a long episode. Like, long, long. Like, long. <laughs> okay, you get it. But, um, yeah, this is going to be a huge finale. Let's hope this prayer ring doesn't, doesn't break before uh, only two uses. Nice, nice. Keep going. Keep going. Nice. Keep going. This is good. This is really good. Ah, oh, okay. It had to happen eventually. That's all right. That's all right. Now it's Betty's turn. Cool. Cool. And I'm going to do Vice. And I, I might just stop there. I might just stop there. That's fine. Beautiful. Let's keep going. The soul of Baramos, and when he said he wasn't done, I hoped you believed him, because here he is again. The soul of Baramos. I'm gonna start this battle like I usually start him. I'm gonna start with an insulator, and Betty is going to... What do I want you to do, Betty? Kabuff. Because we like defense, we like weaker spells. Whoa, he is not taking a ton of damage. And he hits hard. Man. Ooh, but a critical hit will cut straight through his defenses. I like to see that. That is awesome. Um, 
we might not even do double kabuff. We might go straight to stages, uh, Sage of Stone, um, but we will get one kabuff in this turn. He is hitting hard. Man, Marcello with the crits. That is the one plus um, using the weapon that she has. I believe it's still the heads, uh, Headsman's Axe. It is insane when it comes to critical hits, man. Um, I think I'm gonna Sage of Stone. And Betty will oomph. Mmm, Vice. Nice. Marchella is going crazy with these crits. We're gonna make cake work of him. If she keeps getting these nasty critical hits, I mean, goodness. Um. Now let's see. Uh. Do I not have... Oh, okay. Let's see what the Kerfizzle does to him. And Betty, you can oomph Marcella. Man, Vice is doing nothing. Man, I'm telling you, because critical hits go through defense, that battle was supposed to be... I guarantee you it was supposed to be like 20 minutes longer. But the critical hits just cut through the Soul of Baramos. And here we have <laughs> the bones of Baramos. This is his last ditch effort, I'm assuming. He really does not want to be defeated, but we gotta put him down once and for all, man. We're gonna insulate and we're gonna kabuff. Same old strategy, man. Never failed us. Let's get it going. Yeah, his defense is much lower this time. But I guarantee you, yeah, he's gonna attack for much more damage. That's how this battle is different. Um, so we're gonna attack and attack. Margaret, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have Margaret full heal herself. And Betty can do the second kabuff, that's two kabuffs. I'm liking this, man, I'm liking this. Feel good so far. I don't know what all the bones can do. But I'm assuming he is insanely powerful, and man, he is proving it right now. Um, I think I'm going to... Ooh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm going to Sage of Stone. And Betty is going to Oomph Vice. I think that's what I want to do. We got to be careful. Uh, we got to hope Margaret doesn't get hit. Okay, well... Our health is better now. Man, that damage is insane, man. Insane. We're gonna Sage of Stone one more time. Betty is going to Oomph Marcella this time. And now I feel real good, man. Feeling good. I'm feeling good about this. Huge damage from Marcella. It's like almost a critical hit. Well, not quite there, but it feels like it. We're gonna Sage of Stone. And we're gonna see if a Kerfizzle will do anything. Ooh, nice. Okay, nice damage. Vice is going in. Sage of Stone keeping us up there. Marcella's just... Ooh, okay, that hurts. Um, I think we'll just do a... Oh, okay, I'm stupid. I was like, what? Why? We're just going to full heal Margaret this time. And Betty can throw down another Frizzle. Bones of Baramos, man. Because he knows he's done for. If he can't stop us here, he's simply done for. And just as I say it, it always seems to happen like that. The bones of Baramos is defeated. And we have one more battle ahead of us. I'm going to see how much MP we can get um, out of our final. I believe this is the last prayer ring we have. And I'm going to use it on Betty. 30, that's a good number. 29, and it crumbles. Dang it. Okay. I'm still confident about this, though. I'm still confident. Recording is at 40 minutes. This is a dang special, man. This episode is going to be a movie. All right, well, let's at least move quickly so I don't hold you guys too long. This is it, people. Still, you cling pathetically to life, Vice. Very well. It seems only right that I, who will take such pleasure in your death, should deal the killing blow myself. Now come, come to me, 
and show me how beautiful you die. Zoma. <laughs> we are really here, man. And that is the most epic battle screen of the whole game, I think. Um, I would, I, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a bit scared because I don't know what this man can do. But boy, does he have an intimidating aura about him. I'm just being honest, man. We're gonna start like we usually do. Attack, attack, instantly, and kabuff. We wanna keep our defense up. We wanna decrease the effectiveness of his, uh, effectiveness of his spells and man he is not holding back that already hurt like you know what man are you serious we just did nothing to him uh, right off the bat we need sage stone we need it and if we want to do any damage we're gonna have to oomph marcella i think i think that's what i want to do or do I want to get at least a second kabuff up? Yeah, I don't think we have- we don't have to start so fast. We can set up a little bit, so I'm gonna kabuff. But man, am I nervous. I am nervous. Ew, we did not want him to go first. Oh my goodness! It. Okay, please have an effect. I didn't even- <laughs> I feel stupid, man. That... I forgot about the bounce. I forgot about the bounce. I can barely believe it. Ig just a leaf on Margaret. Don't kill Betty. Just don't... Oh my! 211 damage? I mean, let's be honest here. That is absolutely insane. Marcella has to defend. We might take an L here. We might even have to do a second episode. In fact, it isn't looking like it, man, because I need a better strategy. We got off to a not-so-great start. Um, Kazing Vice, actually. What's Betty gonna do, though? What is Betty gonna do? Betty, turn into Margaret. That's not good. Cold breath. Okay. So now we got two Margarets, effectively. Um, vice. Vice, vice, vice. Vice, full heal. No, because if Zoma goes first, then they're just gonna go down. Vice, defend. It might be a waste of a turn, but I need to see what happens. Marcella, Marcella's gonna go down eventually, so I'm gonna focus on full healing. Um, full healing Betty, and Betty is going to full heal Margaret. And he just went first anyways, man. Wow. Guys, I'm gonna have to call it an episode. I am straight up gonna have to call it an episode. This dude is like eight times powerful than any boss in the game. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know what I just thought of? You know what I just thought of? Do we have to use the sphere of light? Please give me a chance to find out. Guys, oh my gosh. I'm so confident that that is the key. And I just thought about it at the end of the fight that's got to be it guys i'm gonna have to call it an episode okay please stay tuned because we are so close i guarantee you the finale is next episode i'm sorry this one went really long i'm very very sorry but i, I really thought we were gonna do it all right guys if you did enjoy you can always give it a like if you did not you can just like and tell me what i can do to improve these episodes in the comments below with all that said i have been vice this has been dragon quest 3 and you better be back tomorrow because tomorrow we finish it all, all right? I'm out of here.